We're here with Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves, who's running for governor. He has uh, two other challenges in the Republican primary. And then if you're elected governor, what do you plan to do as governor? Well, I'm going to continue to focus on job creation, bringing better and higher paying jobs to our state. It's critically important that we, as a state, focus on fiscal responsibility. It's critically important that we have a tax code that is fair, one that is flat, one that encourages economic development, not one that discourages it. And we've got to continue to be willing to invest in public education, but also be willing to reform education where it makes sense. Uh, we've seen significant progress being made uh, in our state in educational achievement levels. Um, that's because we have great teachers and great administrators and great parents and great uh, students all across the state that are making real progress. We've got to continue to build on those successes. What sets you apart from all the other candidates that are running for governor? Well, I have a, a record of defending our values in Mississippi. I have a record of job creation, I have a record of education reform, um, and, and making sure that we're focused on doing uh, what's most important for the citizens of our state, creating an environment which encourages private sector job growth. What's the one problem facing Mississippi today, and what would you do to fix it? Well, I think one of the things that we have to focus on is uh, when we look at job creation, we also have to look at workforce training. We've got to make sure that we have a system in place that we are not only um, training in, from a pre-kindergarten through 12th grade level, but also training our workforce for the jobs of tomorrow. Uh, we have got to continue to focus on the jobs of the next 50 years, not the jobs of the last 50 years. If I'm fortunate enough to get elected, I will spend every single day thinking about how do we continue to improve workforce training because we want to see per capita incomes for our people continue to rise. Unemployment is at an all-time low in Mississippi. Uh, we have more people working today than at any time in the history of our state. And we also have over 80,000 more people working today than we did just eight years ago. We are headed in the right direction, but we've got to continue to build on those successes. What is your one message to Mississippians? Well, the one thing I would say is that um, if I'm fortunate enough to get elected, don't focus just on what we will do as governor also focus on what we will stop. The liberal extremists from both coasts are trying to impart their will on Mississippians. I will stand up to them, and I don't know that other candidates in this race will do that. All right. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves running for governor. The primary is on August 6th. All righty. All right. We're good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, as always. All right. Are they All right, we got you back at the sports monitor over All here right. to get you to do your other part again. <laughs> we'll one do more that time. one more time. What is that, take two? <laughs> it may be take three. That's all right. You know, this right. is not my strength. This is no, your no, strength. No, this no, is not no. my hey, strength. Hey, we do a couple takes anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> they get you right, right there on the red mark there, I think, is where you... Yeah. Right here? Yeah, you're good. I think yeah, right here. That's right. right. Yeah, put your... Belt, put your uh, well, they wanted me right here. Yeah, 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 you're right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the election part. There you go. There we go. Just a little bit. There we go. Right yeah, there. there you go. It is pretty yeah. close to the red mark. Yeah, you're good. So we get the election. You can see yourself in the monitor. Yep. Yeah, Rob's coming back. He'll time you out. Perfect. Yeah, we got you. We got tips from the pro. <laughs> no, he's not here yet. He's coming. He should be coming. At least you got it in there, so that's scripted, so that's good for you. No, no kidding. <laughs> that's really good for me. <laughs> no, I mean, some, some people just kind of ad libbing it, so. No, he's not here yet. There were folks who didn't take the offer to do the teleprompter? Some didn't. Huh. So. I'm going to be nice, but I, I would, I, I have no idea who it was and who it wasn't but I would refer to them as amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> if it's there, you if take it. If it's there, it. you take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get plenty of chances to put your foot in your mouth. When it <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. You get to write it down once. <laughs> and I will take ample opportunity to take advantage of that, I assure you. <laughs> put it in there. That opportunity to screw up, I will definitely uh, take advantage of that, I'm sure, throughout this cycle. Okay, and good. As long as it keeps you ready to roll, all right, we're good. And you catch yourself in again. So this one will be perfect. 
So you, we're ready. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm Tate Reeves. I'm running for governor because I love Mississippi. This is home. My wife, Ely, and I, we were both raised in small Mississippi towns. We went to Mississippi schools and got Mississippi jobs. I want to make Mississippi a great place for everyone to raise a family because that's what it's been for us. We've got a lot of good stats about our economy and how it's been put on the right track. Our economy has grown by about $10 billion in the time I've been Lieutenant Governor. Unemployment is at record lows and people are earning more money. We've gotten off to a good start. President Trump is leading the way with great conservative reforms at the federal level. I've worked closely with Governor Bryant to do the same here. Now the left, they have gone crazy. Democrats are drifting further out of the mainstream. Conservatives are getting things done. Lower taxes, less debt, better schools, and more jobs. Getting rid of debt is hard. You might know that from your family. For the state, it means saying no to powerful special interests when they demand a yes. Being a leader means willing to say no. That's what I did. And now, Mississippi is in a stronger place for it. Now, we've got more work to do. We need more education reform to strengthen our schools. We need to address infrastructure needs from potholes to ports. We need to keep creating quality jobs. We also need to stand up for our way of life. Hollywood and coastal elites want to tell us how to live. They want to tell us how to worship. They want to confine our religion to our churches. They want to erase the morality that made our nation great. We know that Mississippi's values are Mississippi's strength. I'll always defend them. I believe Mississippi is moving in the right direction. And I believe we need a governor strong enough to take us to our full potential. I'd be honored to have your support.